Good morning and welcome to the Clopis. I hope that you are well this morning. I was just looking at a passage. A friend of mine pulled me aside, remember this passage? And I'm like, yes, this is so good. And I know over the last two and a half years, we've talked about this before on the Clopis, but it's so good. And we always need to be reminded of really great things. So it's in Psalm 112. So if you have your Bibles handy, go ahead and open up to Psalm 112. If you don't have your Bible's handy. The beauty of this is you can hit pause, go and get your Bible, open it up, and I wouldn't even know that you hit pause. So Psalm 112 says this, praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Now, when we talk about fearing the Lord, this doesn't mean that we're scared to do something wrong because he's going to smite us and hit us with lightning. This has nothing to do with this. This has to do with a reverence. When you have a fear of the Lord, you, you so revere his greatness, but you also want to, because you love him, you want to honor him. You want to walk in faith with him. You desire to please him and to love him and receive his love. And you fear him in reverence, not because you're afraid of lightning. And so here it says, blessed are those who fear the Lord. So those of you, my friends, that fear the Lord and walk with him in righteousness, blessed are you. Who, blessed are those who find great delight in his commands. God doesn't just give us guidelines and things to do for bad because he's playing a game. He does it to bless us. He does it so that we fulfill our purpose for his glory. He does it because he loves us. So blessed are you who find delight in his commands. Their children, so it comes with an add-on, not just you will be blessed, but your children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in their houses and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, light dawns for the upright. I love that. Even in darkness, even if you're living in a dark situation, light dawns for the upright. For those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. There's the promises for you who are gracious, compassionate, and righteous. So good. Good will come to those who are generous and lend freely. Oh, be generous. Who conduct their affairs with justice always. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. If you get shaken, it's important to say, why am I being shaken up here? What am I afraid of? Because if I'm walking with God, the promises of God are for me and he's got my back if I'm walking with him. And so I'm walking with him, so why am I bothered? Why am I shaken? Because God is with me and God has got my back. So the righteous will not be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news because God's with them. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Always trust in the Lord with all your heart. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. Allow your faith in God and his greatness and his love for you to be bigger and greater than any fear. In the end, they will look in triumph on their foes. They have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn, which talks about leadership, will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see and be vexed. Love that. They will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. But you, blessed are you, who fear the Lord, who are compassionate and loving. So today I encourage you, take Psalm 112 to heart, start living it out from this day forward because God is with you, God will honor you, God will walk with you, and he will help you always and bless you and his favor will be evident in your life for his glory. Have an amazing day and God bless.